um hey guys uh, welcome back to another gta online video and in this video we are gonna uh, customize the latest vehicle which came in uh, gta online on th on thursday and today is sunday so yeah guys this is called the Vulcan nebula turbo so let's go ahead and order this in white and then we can uh, there we have it then we can read the description for this vehicle which goes as we know what you're thinking another mid 70s brick but think about it for a moment a brick is only slow if you don't um, throw it right and does does a hollowed out turbocharged brick really sounds like it's uh, that difficult to throw that's the spirit uh, better up all right guys so that was the short description for this vehicle and it was pretty interesting so yeah let's just wait for the vehicle and we can get started as soon as it arrives so yeah all right guys so there it is our car just got de delivered to the garage so yeah guys this is how the Vulcan <laughs> nebula turbo looks like in its stock condition so yeah guys let's take this vehicle outside and so we can take it to the LS custom shop yeah guys sorry about that so we have the front uh, stock bumper and then we have the primary front bumper we have the race fogs right here which uh, I don't think has any use uh, except for having a rally look uh, for this car so we have these in stock uh, with the stock uh, bumper lights and then we have the same with the primary bumper so there is nothing too interesting about that so we have a sticker bomb splitter which uh, isn't what uh, I'm looking for then we have the no bumper and drift intercooler then we have the no bumper and race intercooler so yeah those are all the options we have for the front bumper for this car so I don't think I'm gonna be getting any of those and then we have a stock rear bumper then we have the primary rear bumper so yeah let's move on with the bumpers I don't think I'm gonna be getting those options so this is the stock exhaust right here which is uh, which has a classic look then we have the dual tip uh, exhaust then we have the tuner exhaust and then we have the epic bean can so yeah that's a pretty huge <laughs> pretty huge uh, exhaust so yeah I think I'm gonna keep that stock but I don't think the stock one oh yes the stock one does uh, do the do that thing so yeah, let's go to the fender options so we have this one the sticker bomb fenders which I am not a fan of then we have the grill options we have the stock grills we have the plain grills we have the grill fogs and then we have the grill fogs and light covers so yeah stock it is again I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this vehicle so yeah guys now we are in the hood option we have stock hood we have carbon hood we have uh, sticker bomb hood then we have the rusty hood we have the exposed turbo hood the one i was talking about and then we have the exposed twin turbo hood which is pretty interesting then we have because uh, drift car <laughs> 
remove the hood with the exposed turbo hood and then it this says no words needed so yeah these are crazy actually but I think I'm gonna go with this one I'm gonna go with the exposed turbo hood and yeah I, uh, since we are getting these I guess we have to apply more tuner options I guess so I am actually not sure between these two but uh, uh, let's just apply that what the hell which one should we go for this one or this one I think I'm gonna go for this one so well, I'm not a fan of these sticker bomber things so yeah move, moving on what else do we have we have l loafers for this car so black rofer, um, loafers or primary loafers I think I'm gonna go with the black ones but we can uh, always apply them later then we have the mud cards option yeah we are gonna now get that, that. the mud cards usually are black but these are a part of the body I think so that's pretty cool let's see what roof options do we have we have the weekend vacation large roof rack we have alpine rack then we have strico crap then we have junk trunk so these are pretty interesting but of course we aren't gonna get any then we have the roll cage option um, yeah let's get it what the hell or not I'm not sure yeah let's skip on that one so we have roll cage and roof done let's see what spoiler options do we have we have again this sticker bomb trunk we have the carbon trunk rusty trunk then we have sports wing mid-level wing drift wing and then race wing so I am not sure of uh, the modifications of this vehicle and then we have the race wing and is these speakers or what is that I think is this the fuel tank or something I have no idea what that is so yeah I guess we are gonna go with the stock one for now and we have the suspension damn those look at those rims they actually are wow that's amazing and this car only this car has a feature where it like turns your axle sideways so that's pretty interesting we are gonna get the sports suspension that's pretty awesome so let's get the race transmission watch. turbo of course mm. and then what else I guess we are pretty much done with this vehicle I don't think I'm gonna get any of these cause they are just mm, for no use in my opinion so yeah that's pretty much it for the visual customization for this vehicle for me not gonna get the fenders not gonna change the grill options already done the hood so loafers I did not apply yet so there we go let's apply those and yeah let's just quickly respray this so we can check out all the liveries for this vehicle I hope there are some simple ones as well we usually get the dark steel to check out the liveries so yeah let's jump into the liveries so here we have the 70s called this is I guess the factory livery for this vehicle you mm, either get it plain or with this livery so then we have the Nordic racer we have the geometric camo we have the razel diesel we have roadkill which is all bloody and stuff then we have this one 
keep it real uh, a, a graffiti style livery then we have the rusty shark mm -hmm. then we have the Hawaiian snow rally then we have the steampunk which is pretty interesting in my opinion I think uh, this is the one we're gonna be getting pretty much the ordles and dawdles so yeah the liveries on this car are pretty interesting so yeah I'm just gonna go with this one the ordles dawdles so yeah let's let me just respray this car real quick and then I'll see you guys on the other side yeah so yeah guys this car looks totally awesome um, I got the bison brown for their primary color and then we selected a bronze pearlescent for the color and for the roof we selected a light gray matte so that looks pretty insane and I also noticed that the rims also said says uh, Volcar uh, Nebula Turbo so that's pretty amazing and for the rims we are actually gonna take this vehicle to the arena workshop in hopes that this car supports uh, Benny, uh, Benny's rims so let's just take this car there and what's awesome about this car is that the roof uh, the I'm sorry the trunk of this car can be made carbon so it works pretty good with this livery but I think uh, that's gonna help when we view this vehicle by using torches and wow the performance in this of this car is insane and those uh, turned axles uh, really help with the drift of this vehicle and it just slides pre pretty amazing it's a pretty good uh, drift car in my opinion so I hope there is room in the arena workshop which I'm sure there is and uh, I'm not sure how I would explain the handling of pretty good in the handling but as soon as you hit the tap the handbrake it starts drifting all over the place which is some awesome performance from this vehicle so let's hope that I can apply the Benny's rims in this vehicle because it seems like those rims are made for this vehicle so yeah we are right here and let's see if we can customize this vehicle of course we can let's see if it has Benny's vehicles rims I mean no it unfortunately it does not so yeah I guess uh, I will apply some sports rims on this vehicle uh, hold on uh, we're supposed to get any any muscle rims and turn them what color should it be yeah I think this uh, this uh, black looks has a little bit hint of brown with them so the one I wanted for this vehicle was one of these in my opinion where did they go? either this one or this one I think we need to get these in uh, stone silver that would look much better A first white can do as well how about let's just match it with the with the mud guards and the roof I think the dark and darker ones look better how about the tires yeah we are gonna keep that stock let's see if I need if I wanna lower the suspension even more I think I'm fine with the suspension 
what else do we have do we need the roll cage I couldn't decide back there in the custom shop I say I'll, I'll just keep the stock so unfortunately this car doesn't support the Benny Benny's rims so yeah let's just quickly take this back to the uh, penthouse uh, garage and yeah the look the rims look pretty awesome on this vehicle so yeah let's just take this straight to the penthouse garage and yeah when I when I went to respray this car I I did some other changes like the carbon trunk and whatnot so yeah let's just take it back and then we can give this car another look in the sunlight let's actually try to drift this vehicle a little bit see how it handles oh yeah that's pretty cool I can't wait uh, to drive uh, this car with my friends it's gonna be pretty awesome everyone in their Volker Nebula Turbo or even the Futo and the uh, other cars like the Verona which is a pretty nice car for drifting as well I, I also own, own that so these vehicles combined together would be pretty cool so yeah let's just take this car into the garage and see our whole collection of the casino vehicles so there isn't much sunlight over here but i can see some from over there i just uh, want to show you guys the trunk of this vehicle this looks pretty amazing I think we'll need to use yeah, yeah it's visible it's pretty visible so this is how the carbon trunk looks like with the slippery and I'm pretty happy with the outlook of this uh, vehicle and I'm sure I'll also get the lower suspension the next time I visit the Alice custom shop and yeah let's quickly see what's in the trunk of this vehicle I don't expect much of course so let's just open all the doors and yeah it's a two door car actually which was the case and this is how the engine looks like so and let's take this car into the carriage and I hope you have enjoyed this video do drop a like rating and share it with your friends yeah we have two super cars to look forward to but first i want to take this back to its home which is in the penthouse carriage and yeah there's also another car that i'm looking forward to which is the buccaneer classic which is uh, which is also a car which interests me a lot so let's just um, park this car properly into its position which is gonna be out front I just wanna give this car a good display because it looks pretty amazing so here it is the Volker Nebula Turbo and this car looks pretty awesome but you can barely see the livery in this what? lighting you can but it's kind of hard to make out but if you can make out this skull yeah which is right here so you can see so yeah guys in the next video we are gonna be looking into the legendary motorsport website we have the Weiser Neo and Progen Emirates so yeah I'm pretty excited for these vehicles so yeah stay tuned uh, to the channel and subscribe for more videos like these and then we also have the Buccaneer class oh it's the gauntlet classic actually that's pretty that's pretty awesome I thought it was the Buccaneer classic so there's also gonna be another I think 
futuristic version of the gauntlet which is I think the challenger hellcat so yeah guys these three vehicles are gonna be modified on the channel in the upcoming videos and then we also haven't yet customized the Herakera or the which is it yeah the NS Paragon R so yeah guys there are a lot of vehicles we mean to customize so yeah guys I'll see you in the next video hope you have a nice day and yeah see you around peace and bye